I've got object delay set up on an aux return over here, and it's being fed from a send on a lead vocal track. And on it, I've got a preset in the echoes category, and I've got the balance all the way up since we're controlling the dry wet mix with this send knob over here. So here, the linked first and echo parameters are giving us a nice tight delay that's widened via the ping pong effect. The time has come, so take we can me get more of a comb effect. We'll run to another place and time and spread out where we can leave the world behind. We can get more of a slap with a longer echo. The time is here. Maybe less feedback. So take me and we'll disappear. There is only me and you. Together we can start anew. Let's look at another preset. I'm going to switch to funky guitar echo. And again, I'll put the balance all the way up and let's start by listening to that. The time has come. Here they're synced so to tempo. And, away, we'll run and we're being filtered here by the filter module. So the lows are being cut out. Let's open it up. Behind. We'll turn off the LFO. The time is here. It's also being filtered so through a module. There is only me and you. And we can modulate maybe Together the echoes to get different values. The time has come, so take me and away we'll run. Or for an interesting effect, we can modulate the wet VCA. Where we can leave the world behind. So it kind of goes in and out. The time is here, so take me and we'll disappear. Here I've got a preset called up in the modulators bank, and this is great for creating chorus and flanging style effects by having really tight delays and then modulating the length of the echoes. I'm going to start by playing you this with it out, and then I'll put it in. Goodbye, moonlight. So we have a nice chorus style effect here by using a fairly fast value over here, speed, and then just a low amount to modulate the echoes. They're linked in this case, and they're being fed back into each other. I can create more of a flanging effect by doing the opposite, by slowing down the rate and doing a faster amount. Goodbye, moonlight, hello. Then we can roll back the sun. feedback. Times. Out. Hello. And then in. Fun. It's goodbye. Let's look at another preset. I'm going to call up one here called Plate Tremolo, and we can create interesting tremolo effects by modulating the output or just the wet part of the output when we use the wet VCA destination. So let's solo this, and I'll put the balance up since we're sending to a bus. Goodbye, we have a nice smooth triangular kind of rate. We can make it faster. Hello, For a faster tremolo, we can change the shape of the modulation. Goodbye, or have something slower. Times. And smoother. Hello. Or faster. Fun. And in context. Goodbye. Well, that's Moonlight. doubling. And thicken it up. Hello, sun. Here I've got a drum loop set up with a preset from the rhythmic loop manglers bank. Let's put it in. We can make it more interesting by having the echoes set to a different sync speed than the first repeats. And we can move the signal from left to right. And we can make it more interesting by adding the object in and modulating the frequency with the LFO.
and we can get more percussive sounds with a quicker decay or more sustained sounds with a higher value and less slow rate or more percussive let's look at another example I'm going to switch to a preset here called Tonic Mangler 1 and again we can change the speed of the different echoes generated and filter it through an object and modulate the frequency again more percussive or more sustained I've got a kick drum here with object delay on it and it's got a preset from the kick track enhancers bank let's solo it and we'll put it in now we're not using the delay module at all we're just running it through the object to get some filtering and boost the resonant frequencies. So first thing is we can tune it to the fundamental of the drum. I'm gonna increase the decay so that I can hear the sustain and tune it by ear. Around there sounds good, around 55 cycles per second. We can get more of a staccato kind of reinforcement or a looser sound like that or a real sustain now we can get some interesting effects by modulating the frequency I'm going to turn on the LFO module I'm going to set it to a triangle and let's sync this to quarter notes and we're modulating the frequency here and I'm going to put this up so we can get a real pitched kind of aspect almost like an electronic drum sound or we can go negative And we can tune this in multiples. If I want to go up an octave, I'll go to about 110. So that's a nice, interesting kind of reinforcement with a bit of decay up there. Let's switch to another preset. Now here again, we're not using the delay module, but we're using the object to reinforce the higher click part of the sound. So again, let's tune this. Maybe way up high, just like that to get a bit of brightness to the attack. And same thing here, we can modulate the material in this case might work nicely since we won't have an obvious change in pitch. I'll put this on. Just with a moderate amount to get a little bit of variation in the quality of the tone, but not actually change the frequency. Or we could change the frequency. For some variation in how it's being reinforced up high. Here I've got object delay on the snare track and I've got a preset chosen from the snare track enhancers bank. Let's hear what it's doing. Right now it's out and in. So it's been filtered through a plate here to add some high frequency content for some nice snap and we can tune that. And we can add some decay to make more sustained resonant sound. And then modulate that. Let's try and get more of a pitched effect. I'm going to set this to a triangle wave. I'm going to offset the phase and the pulse width. Let's go down to quarter notes. And we can tune the resonances or the pitch scoop with these.
let's look at another preset. Here we're getting a ring due to the increased decay and it's being filtered through a drum head. Let's turn on the modulation and see what we can get. We can generate other percussive types of instruments. Let's try and get a different type of vibe with the LFO. We're going to switch to a square wave. Let's modulate above so we can get higher frequencies for more triangular-like sound. Here I've got a kalimba part playing simple quarter notes at the beginning of each bar. Now the drones bank utilizes extreme settings, usually a lot of modulation, balance all the way up, feedback all the way up, very high amounts and very long sustained sounds that are generated, decay up, etc. I'm going to play this first with it out and then we'll put this preset in. And now in. modulating the echoes. And we can blend it a bit more tastefully. Maybe less feedback. A nice slight modulation. Let's try another preset. pretty extreme as well. Let's pull this down a bit and we'll try syncing to a specific rate, maybe dotted quarter notes. Let's switch to a triangle wave and let's try modulating the echoes. or maybe the frequency. The Richard Devine Signature Bank also contains presets with extreme settings. Here's this one applied to the kalimba chords with a simple quarter note at the beginning of each bar, and we'll start with it out. now in. Let's try modulating the feedback. And we'll do a faster rate and a different shape. And let's pan from left to right and lower the feedback a bit. Try another preset. Let's try a different object type. We'll go to the drum head. And I'll increase the decay so we can tune it. That works for me. Let's go to the ping pong mode and blend it in. So this is Object Delay from AAS, a fantastic new sounding delay module that models all kinds of objects that we can run the input signal through before it reaches dual delays. And I hope you get a lot out of it and enjoy it. Have fun. Thank you.